Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about email automations in Klaviyo and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you use Klaviyo email automation? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to know how to use email automations in Klaviyo anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to keep pitching your email list and also stay in touch with them. Whatever the case is, Klaviyo makes it easy to set up email automation. So emails automatically go out to your subscriber list. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Klaviyo dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. So I've already logged into my account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to set up an email automation in Klaviyo, they call them flows. So it's going to be here on the left. Don't get that confused with campaigns. Campaigns is going to be if you're going to send a one-off email. So for example, if it's a newsletter, you're notifying of a new video or a new product or something like that, as opposed to email automations are flows. So you're going to set up a chain of emails for a specific goal. So let me go ahead and click on flows. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see your email flows or automations. So you can see, I just have this one right here. Now, in order to set up a new email automation, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. The first way you can do it, if you're going to build it from scratch, you can click up here, create flow, and then you're going to be able to set up each email in each step and each pause in between the emails. But the cool thing about Klaviyo is they do have a few templates that are already set up. So right down here in this section, you can click on view all ideas. Okay. Once you do that, it's going to show a couple of email automations they've already set up, but go ahead and just click on view all flows. Okay. So here are the email automations that are available to you as templates through Klaviyo. You can see they have quite a few of them. So you can use these for text messages or emails with Klaviyo. So let's say here, this is a three email series for welcoming a new subscriber. Uh, here's one for an email automation for happy birthday. Here's another email automation for happy birthday, but it includes a text message. And let's see here, we can do a welcome series. So this is if somebody just signed up for your list. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and do this welcome series right here with three emails. Okay. So first what you're going to do in order to name your email automation. So what is this email automation for? So this is subs that signed up through Twitter. Okay. And then we can go ahead and tag this. So I'll just put Twitter. Okay. And then the trigger, we're going to go ahead and click here. Okay. So this is, if somebody signed up for your email list, that's going to be the triggering event, or maybe they signed up for your text message list or any other list that you might have. So for me, I'm going to do YouTube channel email list. Okay. Now we're ready to go ahead and set up our email automation. So click on create flow. Okay guys. So here is our email automation setup. So it's pretty nice. Clavio already set up the wireframe or the outline of it right here. So instead of scrolling up and scrolling down, like what I'm doing right here, you can go ahead and zoom out and that way you can see the whole email automation right here. So first off we have the trigger. So this is when someone signs up for our list. And then as soon as that happens, they're going to get email number one. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better. Okay. So after they sign up for the list, they're going to get email number one. And the way they set it up for this email automation is wait three days. And then they're going to receive email number two. And then four days after this email right here, four days, they're going to get email number three. So when you're setting up an email automation, you're going to be able to edit each one of these. And it's kind of a time consuming, annoying process, but once you have it set up, you don't really have to touch it too much. And it's automatically going to set out. I mean, that's the nice thing about automation. You set it up once and it just continues on. Now that doesn't mean your business isn't going to change. You can still come back in here and edit these. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure the email automation is sufficient. So for me, I'm actually only want to send two emails. So for this one down here, number three, I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to delete that and I'm going to click delete. Okay. So then we don't have another email, so there's no reason for this to be here. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and delete that also. So delete. Okay. So now we have our email automation from a trigger and then they'll get email number one and then a waiting period and then email number two. Now, if you need to add in more series, you can do that by grabbing one of these actions over here. So for example, the two parts we just removed, so we can do a time delay and we can drag it right here. Okay. And it adds in a time delay. So maybe we want to do two days later and then click on save. And then maybe we want a text message to be the third event. So we'll drag that right after the two days. Okay. And then we can go ahead and set up the text message there. So as you can see, you can zoom out and this could be two emails or this could be 30 emails. That really depends on how much of the email automation you want to set up and what your business goals are. So again, for me, I'm only going to do the two emails. I'm actually not going to do this text message. So let me go ahead and delete this, All right? Delete and then delete also. Okay. So that's setting up the outline. The next thing you need to do is you need to go into each email and edit it. And then also you need to go into each timeline and then edit it as well. 
So after email number one, maybe for me, three days is too long. So I'll click in here. And once you do that, it's going to open up the edit. And maybe I want it to go out 12 hours after. So we'll do 12 hours. Well, you can even add minutes. So let's do 12 hours and 30 minutes and then click save. Okay. So after they get the trigger, they're going to get the first email. And then 12 hours and 30 minutes later, they're going to get the second email. So let's go ahead and go in and edit this email. So we'll click here, these three dots and edit. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and name this email. So Twitter subs, email, welcome, number one. All right. And subject line. Hey, it is Anthony from Twitter. Okay. And then the preview text, this is the uh, little section that you see on your iPhone or whatever. You'll see the subject line and then brief snippet about the email. You can put that in here if you want. This is so cool. Okay. And then the sender name, you definitely want to go ahead and use your company name or maybe your personal name. You don't want to use some kind of fresh name like Fred or something like that. That's not related to your brand because what's going to happen is these folks are going to look at the sender and they're not going to recognize who it's from and they're not going to open it up. So that's going to kill your open rate. Okay. So we got that set up. Now we want to go ahead and edit the email. So here on the right, edit email. Okay. Now I just opened up the email editor. So this is email number one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit each little block on this. I'm not going to show too much about editing the email. If you want help editing these emails, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail, but it's pretty simple. It's just like setting up a Facebook page. You just click into it and you're going to see this blue box around it. Once the blue box is around it, that means you can edit whatever's in the middle. So, Hey, this is Anthony. Okay. Here on the image, you can click here and then we can replace the image over here. So I'll add this. Okay. So I change the image and then here we can go ahead and edit the text. What are you waiting for? Okay. And maybe I want that to be centered. I can just go ahead and highlight everything. And then up here at the top, I can change the size. So maybe the font's a little too small. So I increased it. I can go ahead and center it right here. I can even change the text color by clicking on here. Let's do a uh, red. Okay. And then down here, you can go ahead and edit your social media. Just click into this box. All right. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and on the left, you should see these and you can add in your Twitter link right here, your Instagram link here. If you want to add, let's say maybe your YouTube, just click add icon, click on custom and then choose YouTube and then add the link right here. Now, if there's other features you want to add in here, so maybe you want to embed HTML for your tracking software, you can grab the HTML right here and just drag it right in. We'll put it right here at the bottom and then same thing, make sure it's blue around and then you can go ahead and delete this up here and then paste in your HTML code. Uh, you can add a video. So like a YouTube video or a Vimeo video, you can just drag that right in. Uh, for the Clavio logo, you can delete that if you have the paid account. This is a free test account, so I don't have that feature. So yeah, you just keep messing around with it until it fits your goal. And then once you're done, you want to go ahead and click on exit. Uh, before I do that, I want to show you up here, manage template. You scroll down and you can change the template. So if you set up templates in your Clavio, then you don't have to recreate every single email. So if you need help setting up a template, go back and watch my other video that describes how to set up a template in Clavio. So let me click on exit. Okay. So there's our email and then the flow content is already set up. And then later on, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can go ahead and create an alternate version of this email so you can AB test it. I'm not going to do that on this video. So let me click done. Okay. The nice thing about Clavio, it just automatically saves. So there's no button to click save. And as you can see, the email is done here. All right. So next thing you need to do is just go down to the next email and do the same thing. You're just going to go ahead and keep editing all the email in chronological order. And then once you're done, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on review and turn on. Okay. What you want to do is go ahead and click here on flow status. And then you want to click on live, make sure it's green. It's giving me this error because I connected my Gmail account. So if you have a custom email or your domain already connected, you're not going to see this. And then what you want to do is click on save. All right. They're going to let you know it's already saved. So let me close this down and close this down. Okay. And let me go ahead and exit out of this email automation. Okay. So now we are looking at our email automations. You can see this is the one we set up right here. Subs that signed up through Twitter and it is live. So that way, when anyone signs up for my list that we disclosed here in our email automation, they're automatically going to receive those two emails based off of the time frame that we set up. Uh, one last thing I want to let you know is let me click back in here. Okay. So here we are back in the email automation. So again, there's that trigger. If they sign up for that email list, they're automatically going to receive that email. But maybe you think that looks a little strange. You can go ahead and add a time delay. So just grab this time delay over here and add it right in between. So maybe I don't want to sound too desperate when they sign up for my email list. I don't want them to get the email right away. So I'm going to click here on time delay and I'm going to delay that by let's say 25 minutes. So 25 and then minutes and then I'm going to save. Okay. So now when they sign up for my email list, 25 minutes later, they're going to get first welcome email automation. So that way I don't seem too desperate. And then we'll click on exit. Okay. Now we have our email automation set up through Clavio. And then later on, if you need to edit it or you want to add more emails in, or you want to change the time delivery, you can go ahead and just go right back in, just click on the email automation and you can make changes as you see fit. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to set up email automation in Clavio, that's the easiest way. 
way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.